Hello, my name is Witold Świeży. I work as EMEA Core Convert database expert. In this video, I would like to present integration of ORAC database 23AI with generative artificial intelligence solutions. Integration with generative AI services is one of these new features of ORAC database 23AI, which are reasons of adding this AI suffix to the database version number. So let's start from a short reminder what exactly generative AI is. Wikipedia says that it is an artificial intelligence solution, which is capable of generating text, images, videos, or other data using generative AI models. Often in response to prompts, generative AI models learn the patterns and structure of their input training data, and then generate new data that has similar characteristics. Integration with ORAC database 23AI covers the following areas or functionalities. First, integration with large language models, which is currently available only in autonomous database. Second, support for vector embeddings, and this functionality is available in all flavors of ORAC database 23AI. And it is very important to remember that uh, this feature is not limited to a single one provider or model. ORAC database 23AI supports the following generative AI providers. Of course, ORAC OCI generative AI services, but also Cohere, Azure OpenAI service, and OpenAI. At the beginning, let's discuss integration of autonomous database service with large language models. For the purpose of this video, we will use OCI generative AI service, but as I mentioned earlier, it is also possible to use some third-party solutions. To use an NLM in an autonomous database system, there's need to meet the following prerequisites. Of course, this feature is available only in 23 AI version of autonomous database. And this need to create an OCI policy allowing us to get an access and manage the generative AI service from the database level. Also, a database account, which will be used to access the generative AI service, needs to meet some simple requirements. First, it needs to have execute privilege on DBMS Cloud AI PL SQL package. And second, this need to enable for this account resource principal privilege to make it able to use a predefined credential object used to access cloud resources. After we meet all the mentioned requirements, we can start to use generative AI in our database. In the first step, we need to create a profile. A generative AI profile is a structure which groups together all the data defining what and how we want to access. A credential object. In this example, we use predefined credential object providing an access to our OCI tenancy resources, OCI dollar resource principle, an LLM provider and particular model we want to use, and an API type which we have to use to access a particular model. After creation of the profile, we can make it default for our session by executing DBMS Cloud AI set profile procedure. It is useful, especially when you want to use a select AI statement. In fact, LLM integration offers two interfaces. One of them is a set of PL SQL functions defined in DBMS Cloud AI package. For example, generate function presented in the slide can be used to easily send to a Gen AI service a request. It returns a response in the form of a character lop object, which can be, thanks to the fact that we use a simple PL SQL interface, easily consumed in an application. We can also manage a response type or action which we would like to receive. Currently, the following response types are supported. Chat, show SQL. In this mode, Gen AI generates a SQL statement, which after its execution should return an answer. Run SQL. In this mode, GenAI will try to execute the statement. And finally, explain SQL. In this mode, GenAI will generate a SQL statement along with short explanation. There is another way of working with uh, LLM in an autonomous database 23 AI. Instead of calling a PL SQL function, we can use a select statement extension, which basically does the same thing. Select AI statement, which is visible in the slide, offers exactly the same functionality as generate function, 
So we can provide action type, request, and all other parameters, but it has two limitations. First, it is currently not supported by Oracle Application Express, and second, it is also not supported by database actions. So in case when you want to, for example, build an Apex application, which will be integrated with a Gen AI service, we still need to use DBMS Cloud AI Generate function. QR code in the slide contains a link to appropriate section of Oracle database documentation related to this functionality. Generative AI integration covers also generation of vector embeddings, numerical representation of data. This functionality can be used by vector search, another artificial intelligence feature of Oracle Database 23 AI. By using external models, you don't need to load them into the database. This makes the whole procedure significantly simple, but of course, it is limited to only these models, which are provided by GNAI provider we use. Also, we have to ensure that the model we want to use supports embedding generation. And finally, to use this functionality, we have to create a credential object by executing DPMS vector creates the credential procedure. QR code visible in the slide points to appropriate section of our database documentation, which explains all the details of this functionality. To summarize up this short presentation, integration of our database 23 AI with generative artificial intelligence is one of the most important and promising new feature of AI. It covers two categories of services. First, large language model integration, which is currently available only in Autonomous Database 23 AI. And second, vector embedding generation, which can be used by a artificial intelligence vector search. This functionality is not limited to Autonomous Database. It can be used in any flavor of our database. And finally, Please check all the resources related to our database 23 AI and our Converge database and managed by our team. All our other 23 AI new features videos in our YouTube playlist, our corporate GitHub resources, as well as our blog posts. And thank you for watching this video.